Uh, we are backstage at our alt summer camp uh, with Nate from Cold War Kids. Woo! How are you, sir? Doing well. Um, Long Beach. Cold War Kids known as a Long Beach band. We used to run this town. I was going to ask you, like sometimes <laughs> bands are from a place, but they really just kind of like started there for their first couple weeks and then they moved someplace else and were yeah. there for the majority. Like, how, Especially how Southern Beach? California. Like we were, we didn't start, start in Long Beach. We were all around and we lived in Whittier for uh -huh. a couple of years. We got some deep cut SoCal towns Hard in us. Hard Whittier, of course. Yeah, so, and then we all moved to Long Beach probably somewhere and touring our first record. And then we're there for many years I don't know you know so um, uh, but yeah it's definitely a, a very fond place in our early days we had uh, talked earlier in the week you said you had never been to the Queen Mary before what do you, what do you think how do you, how do you like our digs it's here it's beautiful it's beautiful it's, it's a nice place for a show yeah, I feel like it's really nice yeah awesome um, Complainer is uh, the song that we've been playing for the last couple of weeks it is brand new Cold War Kids you guys have played it once live yes once live so that's right will be number two number two yes tell us about the song uh, so the song is, it's one that we've been working on for a while that um, it, there's a real simplicity about it in a way that it uh, just has a, a rad, like it has this very simple Cold War Kids feel, um, that lyric complainer, like don't sit around and complain about it and what that was saying. Um, it took me a while to write this one, which like I, I guess it's almost probably my own like sensitivity towards something being like whether like politically weird or having some sort of like subversive meaning or something I, I just couldn't wrap my head around for a while like what this thing was about and so but at the same time like the simple surface thing of like just don't sit around and complain about it be like actively go out and solve these you know the problems that are bothering you and like at a time in the world where like it's weird it's just weird. Well, everything you say, everything you think, there's something, there's a different interpretation of it, so it's hard to like say something that is really substantial without it sounding somehow wrong. <laughs> well, it's a message, and like it's any, a message. Like, well, That's right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Like like yeah. like like any good art, it's a message that is very conducive to the times right now. But yeah. if you time travel ten years ago or ten years in the future, it's a song that will still make sense. It's a, it's a yeah, message that I will still so. be relevant. Yeah. 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 Um. We have uh, some friends here that Hi. I want to introduce. We have Matt and Elena. Hi. They won the chance to be a part of this conversation. Congratulations. Interview Cold yeah. War Kids. And so How I'm are you guys feel? Pretty good. It's hot. Yeah. But it's gorgeous out here, so I enjoy being out here. Yeah. I came from Texas. So Whoa. Yes. Right Did you on. fly in for the show? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You won, like, called up. He won. Yeah, you won. Yes. In, All right. Invited her, so. Amazing. Nice work, yes. Matt. Nice job. Well, <laughs> ask away, by all means. Yeah, so we would, so if you could date any celebrity, any at all, who would it be? If I could date any celebrity yeah, at all. Anyone. <laughs> it's not a bad question. Um I who is that person? The young me wants to I think of like the nineties me, like Gwen Stefani, Fiona Apple. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those, are, those are good those choices. Are good. I was going to say, Brad Pitt is very handsome. <laughs> I just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. What did you think? He's very handsome. Oh, my gosh. He's, yeah. He's, he's just, handsome. he's just holding up so well. <laughs> he's doing, he's doing and okay. I, and I, that is my new number one. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you guys good? Do you have any other questions? Oh, Matt, you have a question? Yeah. If you weren't doing music now, what would you be doing? If I wasn't doing music now, what would I be doing? I, I don't know. Man, I I was substitute teaching before I was doing music. I was doing like all sorts of odd jobs, and um, I think that uh, music really saved my life. So I don't really know what would be in its place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cold War Kids are on uh, later on tonight. Uh, the new album is out this fall. Uh, Nate, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely, we are thrilled that Cold War right Kids on, are yeah. here. At our Alt Summer Camp, we are live backstage. Again, you can follow along with everything using the hashtag Alt Summer Camp.